Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to Season 3, Week 1 of WWE 2K24, my GM mode here on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, once again, it's always a pleasure having you here as we get into our third season. Uh, for those that are watching on YouTube, we record these live after most AEW Dynamites and Collisions uh, over on the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. Please feel free to join us and uh, say hi, help us book the show. Uh, for those that are watching live on Twitch here, these go up on our Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channels every Friday and Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern. So, but with that being said, uh, let's uh, let's talk about what we got going on here. So, we just finished our draft. We picked up some new people. We kept some old people. Uh, I kept some people I wasn't supposed to. And uh, yeah, we're getting into season three here. Uh, so far, we have two champions that we've kept. So far, we have uh, Thea, or sorry, we have uh, Ilya Dragunov, who is our current Intercontinental Champion, as well as we have Ivy Nile, who is our current Women's Champion. So, everybody else, the tiles are up for grabs all over the place here. But, as I remember, uh, thanks to uh, what happened our first two seasons, I'm not going to crown any more new champions just yet. Because it appears that Ivy and Ilya probably won't be available for the first PLE. Thanks to uh, Paul Heyman deciding to pull his power card shenanigans at us. Uh, usually for the first PLE where uh, his power card could boycott all the champions that are involved. So I want to remember not to do that this time. So we'll use our first PLE to crown a whole bunch of new champions. So, But with that being said, let's... Uh, Let's dig into this because I'm looking forward to seeing how we can get this season started here. Now, I am going to have to do some sort of uh, championship feud that we might be able to settle before the PLE or after. But I do want to see what we can set up here as we go along here. Uh, but first things first, we do have a manager upgrade, up talent upgrade. Which Ivy hit level 15 here, so. She could either be a giant or a fighter. Now, if we look at our roster here. Bruiser, fighter, fighter, fighter. Bruiser, cruiser. So the only person that a, being a giant would help would be Thea. So... I think we're actually going to go with the fighter class. This doesn't mean we have to go with her, with that, but it just gives us the opportunity to swap her into that role if we need to here. But let's... Uh, in terms of uh, stamina, I think everybody's... 87 to 52, so everybody's good on the roster to go here, so... Let's book our show here. So Trips wants us to schedule a run on one of our champions. This is actually going to help into me finding out about my booking and how I'm going to do this here. So we're going to start our night with... Ivy taking on... That feud's already in cooldown, so we're not going to do that. We are going to do Alba Fire, though. But I am going to schedule a run-in from a somebody who should have been dead, JC Jane, on Ivy Nile. Now, the goal for me to do this is very simple. I need a rivalry. We have a bruiser and a fighter and a bruiser and a fighter. With a bruiser and a fighter with a fighter doing a run-in. Ivy damn well better get a feud with one of these two and then we could build from there. So we'll save that match. 
we can flip around the match types all over the place here if we need to uh I think a match that would be really cool right now would be Dijak and Zane. Or Dijak and Stacks. You know what? I'm going to go Dijak and Stacks here for this one. We'll save it for right now. We can add some stipulations as we go here. Like this card will be very bare bones in many ways here. We go Sammy versus Ilya. That that's gonna be a fun match. Then on the women's side, we can go. Let's get Nikita in here against Cora Jade. I forgot, always put the heels first, put the face second, right? There. So we got our basic card booked right now. We'll add some stipulations here or put something here just to... Baser's a good talker. Gargano. We got some good talkers here. Thea's not so much a good talker, but that's okay. We can work on that. I think we're going to do a training promo with uh, with Shayna here. Because if I could get her pushed up to level 15, that can open up some more categories for her too. So we can do that. Let's see if with Theory can get himself over a little bit. And then Gargano can be... Then Gargano could be the one that we drag fans in with. All right, so we got to write it here already. It's going to be non-title. Um, well, Zodiac, when you draft your roster, you have to... You got to put your money into your talent, and... I have a few more named talents here than I did before. And of course, everybody's value goes up, right? So we're back down to 363, but we'll be able to gain that back real quick here. Because right now, if you look at the roster, I don't have any jobbers on here. Which we'll probably pick up a few next week. This week, we don't really need to, as we could probably define most of these... Let's put this as a tables match just to... Well, glad to see these guys have a Hell in the Cell specialty. On the luck out for a certain Shaw Stopper. Well, if he's available, I have no problem picking him up and bringing him back. We could almost do this. Huh. We haven't done one of these before. No, we have to do the run-in. We have to do the run-in. That's pay-per-view type stuff. Exactly. So we'll just do this as a normal. We'll do the interfered spot. I think we're good here. This is a very basic card for us, but... The only match I'm worried about is getting these two over and the fact that 
like there's some cer decent numbers there. That one I put as a tables match, so it gets a little bit of a boost. All right, before we start our show, let's see what power cards are available. Well, I got a health spa three. I got a double cost to screw your neighbor. The birth of legends I'll save for later. Who's the one with the lowest popularity? Thea will get up to 55. Not a real card I'm worried about here. But I do want to pick this one up just because we did run into some injuries at the end of the year, but. So now we got a Hell Spa 1 and a Hell Spa 3, so. And two of these, which I will be saving for our PLEs, of course. I think we're good here. I don't want to do anything too stupid. We are going to get up to that 450,000 here. Hopefully by the middle of next PLE, we'll be able to get our uh, get our stadium shows going. And if we can get that, then we'll be laughing. Every show will be in a stadium. All right. But with that being said, I think this is good enough here. Like all, all the, all the groups work except for this one, which, it's a specialist. He's not going to be able to do much of that anyway. So, all right, I think we got her. All the world hates a coward. Let's get to her. So we get to watch ours first here tonight. And of course, Stax Lorenzo was our uh, MVP of uh, season two. When you draft them, do you keep them for the entire season? All these wrestlers you see right now are kept for the entire season unless you piss them off and they walk or you release them. Like, remember when Fallon Henley threatened to leave last season and ultimately didn't because we wouldn't pay her money? Yeah, you're... That's the only reason they would leave. You get to keep all these to this point. So we will be... Uh, we'll be adding some free agents... That's why I was saying one of the most important cards to get was that turn a free agent into a superstar. Because then what you can do is take a legend, buy him as a free agent for one week, and then convert him into an all-season. It doesn't cost you anything extra. But anyway, let's get to the match here. Really enjoy having Dijak on the roster now, so... Oh yeah, we got no music, so I'm not worried about that part. Reach for the sky, isn't that like Mark Briscoe's gimmick? The big man in charge. Now, if everything goes right, all four of these matches will create a rivalry, or at least three of the four. I don't know if uh, Dragonov and Zane will do that. Maybe I could have put Dragonov's title up, but I didn't feel like doing that on the first show. Nice little lighting effect there. Take the glasses off and everything turns into color, right? And it sucks that I wasn't able to book anybody else in the D'Angelo family. Like a lot of the groups that I wanted to buy just weren't available when the draft showed up. Chicago, Illinois. 
Weighing in at 232 pounds, Kenny Stacks Lorenzo. So SRS pretty much spoiled it, the fact that uh, Lashley's already been signed too, so... The hurt business be hurting here as we go along here. Or the hurt syndicate, sorry. Nice crescent kick. Well, I thought instead of a title match, we'll just we'll just do uh, a tables match just to boop, give it that little extra boost. Because next week, I think we are going to have to introduce some new characters into the show. Come on, Dijak, grab a table. You know you want to. Just toss them around like a sack of potatoes. There we go, big suplex down now. Here comes the table. And now Stax goes to get a table. Oh, that would have been sweet. In the in the match with a little dive to the outside through a table. Nope, not using that table. Oh God, nice reversal. And Dijek just said, nope. And a sit out DDT on the outside. All right, make it good for use there. Yes, please set one up. All right, that's got to suck. All right, Stax, there you go. Remember your job. Set it up, there you go. Uh-oh. Dijak trying to make a big appearance here at his debut. Hard shots to the back of the head there. Well, Stax knew what was coming, and he got out of it in a hurry. Stax, what do you got in mind, bud? Uh oh. You got a boot in your mind. That's what you got there.
Dijek not happy with the table to go for some more heavy artillery here. And just throws it at Stack's face. Uh oh. Set up that rage. Got him on the table. Oh, Stack's fighting out of him once again. Knee to the stomach. Fortunately, that move's not going to put him through the table here. Dijek once again on the table here. Uh oh. Stack's gonna do it? Yes, he is. Or no. Oh no. Dijak fighting his way out of it. Saw what was coming. And Dijak said, nope, we're done here. Very competitive match from these two. Dijak wins in his debut here on the season premiere of WWE SmackDown. Three stars. Dijak just told you he's the face of SmackDown now. Absolutely. I'm expecting most of my matches tonight to be three star. Rivalry. I will take that. So Shina got some trading in. There she goes. She's going to be a new level when we get up to her there. And our next, next match on the card here. Ilya Dragunov, Sami Zayn, our Intercontinental Champion. Taking on the underdog from the underground. I really wonder if we're going to get a feud out of this as well. Let's go take a look. This would be a hell of a match. Real I want to see if we can get a rivalry out of this. Sucks that Ilya's out for a year now with uh, with an ACL. But ever since I flipped Ilya heel, we've just been having banger after banger matches with him. I love drafting Sammy. Like Sam, that was one of. One of the guilty pleasure. Making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. That was one of my guilty pleasure signings. I do know I spent a little bit, a little bit of money on my signings, but I really thought we were going to be pushing a little bit more with the, uh, with the attendance numbers we're going to get and the ticket money we're going to get. I think we're going to be okay. We'll see after this first PLE where we're roughly at. We can go from there because they're going to need almost half a million dollars to get that stadium.
Yeah, WWE better not flag me on this. Yeah, this would be a hell of a match to see if we can get it in real life here. Well, you know who the crowd's behind. And they didn't give the IC title to Dragunov? That's even better. Drag it off, take him to school here. Like I said, my goal tonight is to get four rivalries started. So stuff I can branch out and work on while while we work towards our first PLE here. Oh God, cutscene time. DDT on the outside, that is awesome. These fair weather fans don't even come close to having enough energy to continue that chat for longer <laughs> count of seven almost uh oh Exploder in the corner. Sammy coming back with a suplex of his own here. Dragging off target Zane's head once again. <laughs> Sammy getting the work here, gets the first cover of the match. Just a one count. Sammy fired up. Here, that he's talking to the crowd. Either way, I'm happy with it. Nice heel kick. Shades all at heart there. That was a kick. I don't think Sammy realized that uh, Ilya got right back up. And then knee across the head. Uranagi and a beauty there. Fall by a cannonball. Uh oh. Dragon off, fire it up. This doesn't look good for Zane at this point. As Zane gets launched over the top rope.
Nice! Shining wizard there. Dragon off driving that knee up. Oh, and Zay gets out of it. He knew it was in trouble. He had to fix it in a hurry. Oh, no. Exploder the corner. You know what that means. No, he's not going for it yet. Shot to the stomach. Zane gonna try going to the top rope again? Double sledge, cross body. Hell, this has turned out to be a hell of a match here. Backdrop driver on the eight rig apron. That always sucks. The hardest part, I didn't want to say that. So I guess I'll let you do that. Hardest part of the rig. On a chop block to the back of the knee. This match is taking some time here. Miss Senton, uh oh. Dragonov's ready to go. Big semi up, power bob. Sit out style. Little T boat of his own. And Sammy's smart enough to roll out of the ring. And you want to taunt long enough? That's the response you're going to get. I think we're going to get some poor opener here in terms of booking here. Is that going to be enough? Sammy gets it with a modified Haluva kick. So Sammy wins on his debut. Zayn making a statement here on our opening day, opening night of SmackDown season three here. Our season premiere, per se. Okay, two and a half. Now, did it give us a rivalry? No. So we're not doing that as a rivalry going forward. Okay. Austin Theory. Well, yeah, I tried to help you, but you can't help yourself. So. All right. Well. Now we get into the ladies portion of the show here. Uh, our third match here, Cora J take it on debut in Nikita Lyons. Now, fun fact, Nikita Lyons was here for season one, very early in season one. And I allowed one of our guys at Backbreaker Gaming to veto a person out of here. And real life Nikita got WWE Nikita kicked out of here, so. We're bringing her back for season three. She's learned her lesson. She's been off for injuries and whatnot. So, and now she gets to take on Cora Jade, who has been an absolute boss for us here in uh, season three here. So did everything but win the title. She was supposed to win the title at Mania. She ended up coming short. Boss time. I don't think she's in here, but I, I, I get where you're going here. Let's check it out. This is going to be our de facto main event here for... For episode one, because our last match involves interference, so we can't watch that. So, once again, everybody, I thank you for being here. 
for those watching on Twitch tonight, we are going to be recording episode... We will be recording episode two immediately following episode one here. We're gonna have a little break interlude, whatnot, and we'll be back at her. But yeah, make sure if you're watching this on YouTube to give us a thumbs up as well as hit the uh, subscribe button if you haven't already. got a lot of great content coming down the channel this October here so including my playing of Astrobot Crowder playing my faction every Saturday you'll have a new video up about my faction uh, work at the weekly ladders and whatnot Sorry, Nikita's making her debut. You shut up and let her enjoy it. I just wonder if she's going to wrestle the coat. Because that would be hilarious. Well, yeah, uh, Crowder's playing my my faction. I got Astrobot on there. I got this on there. We do have uh, Wild Card Sundays. As well as uh, PJC playing uh, Pokemon Trady Card Game Online as well on Thursdays. So... Nikita fired herself up already. See, this would be the worst feud to get into here with these two. Nice splash to the outside by Nikita. See... If we don't get this few going here, we always got Shayna Baszler waiting for us. And also the one that doesn't get a feud between Alba Fire and JC Jane. Cora just not going to get up? Oh, she got up. Decided a little Thez press work would be important. Double count out. Watch this. Damn it. We'll have to see what happened if we get a double count out. We haven't had one of those in a while. Charles Robinson in for that count. Nice shot to the back here. Nikita just... Nikita just showed her dominance here and Cora just not knowing what to do here. Nice head scissors take over there by Cora Jade. What's Cora waiting for here? Cross body off the top. Back on the cover. 
Once again, referee out of position, so I get a one count. Nice back elbow there. Nikita just lo throw it out that rabid punch there. It was nice to see Cora Jane make her uh, return on uh, NXT last night. Basically taking out Julia for uh, Roxanne Perez. Starting a little faction up they were going to do before Cora got injured. Nice little standing blockbuster. I like that. Nikita just says, nope, that's two. Fires up into a swinging neck breaker. Looks like Nikita's not got much left, but... Nikita firing up. Oh, tried to go for the punch again. Cora, Cora blocked him for it. Nikita could lock that in. Cora, figure out what you're doing, girl. Butterfly DDT, that should do it. Close to the ropes. I don't know if she'll kick out or not. And Cora Jade hits it and wins it. Once again, Cora J getting that victory. Got one legacy victory, yeah. Two and a half stars, no rivalry, all right. I can live with that. All right, so we gotta mix things up a little bit more. That's okay. Johnny Gargano got us 5,200 fans, so I like that. Now, our main event here is Alba Fire taking on Ivy Nile. Uh, newcomer Alba Fire, but JC Jane, who was supposed to be dead and buried in a casket, thanks to Billy Slugger at WrestleMania, she appears out of nowhere and starts attacking uh, Ivy. So let's see how this works out. Alba wins, takes the interference. If there's not a rivalry out of this, I'm going to be pissed. Rise from your grave. All right, well, we'll check out the summary later on it. And there was no rivalry out of either one of those. That, wow. All right, so from Raw, opening match for the world title. I know no rivalry for any of them. I'm going to have to see what's going on here. Shinsuke Nakamura and Ridge Holland, one-on-one -on -one for the world title right off the bat. Shinsuke retains and gets a rivalry. All right. Braun puts himself over. Congrats. LA Knight versus Damian Priest. I, I'll take that match. Damian Priest wins. Rivalry in a horrible match. Haven't these two been calling each other out for like three seasons now? Robert Roode versus Chad Gable. That would be a fun match, but it's two specialists. So I want to see what they give it. Yeah, that's the most you can get out of two specialists for the most part. Molly doing a weak promo. That doesn't surprise me. And for the vacant women's tag team titles, we got Isla Dawn and Bailey taking on Gigi Dolan and Bianca Belair. One, two, 
Bailey and Isla, your new champs, at a two and a half star. Okay, like I said, these first few weeks are going to be garbage, to be honest. Now, what's WCW not doing? Sheamus and Elton Prince. One, two, that's it. Ring the bell. Sheamus in a three and a half star match, but no rivalry. Okay. Balor getting some good training in. I like to see it. Roman Reigns, Tommaso Ciampa. He spent the money on Reigns. Oh my. No wonder he never has money. One, two, that's it. It's over. Hit the bell. Ciampa beat Reigns. Two and a half stars in a rival. Okay. Guerrero calls out Balor, so that rivalry started. Alexa Bliss, Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel, two and a half stars. And our main event, not for the tag team titles. You got the champ champ, Adrian Buck. Taking on Booker T and Booker T, taking on Drew McIntyre and Omos. This rivalry's been there forever. McIntyre and Omos, three and a half stars, and they got their rivalry there. All right. What you got, EC Dubs? Jake the Snake versus Xavier Woods for the TV title, okay. Jake the Snake is your new TV champion. Piper got 12,000 fans. I forgot the women get boosts on everything on this thing for ECW. Kofi Kingston takes on Ivar. One, two, that's three. Bell. In a two-star match. Ugh. Eleven popular. Oh, the Miz really put himself over. I guess when you're the champ, you could do that. Tables match. Julius Creed and MVP. One, two, that's it. Ring the bell. Julius Creed with a. Uh, Three and a half, okay. They must have got some kind of superpower card. All right, so we got Liv Morgan, Ronda Rousey, Indy Hartwell in a triple threat match, and Tiffany Stratton is running into interfere. One, two, ring it. Liv wins. Three and a half, and Stratton and Hartwell get into a fight. All right. ECW is cooking. Like, I think he's got a power card for the promos, to be honest. If, if he's got two people uh, self-promoing and getting 11 points, there's something there. All right, so we got good booking. We got one rivalry out of the whole damn thing. Had to have played a card, exactly. We got one rivalry out of the whole damn thing. So we got some work to do next week to start building a few more of these. So we'll have to change the parts, change the pieces, see how things go. Maybe I'll get Jane to call out uh, Ivy and maybe we can see you can push it that way. Shayna, I think she's at a new level. We can pick a trade for her. Good booking as well for Raw. They got a level one. They only got one level one or two level ones. All right. Good booking here. Two level ones as well. It's three level ones. So WCW got a bone thrown back at them. And WCW. Two rivalries. That's it. And they got two women's rivalries, which is a big boost for them. All right, let's go check out the final results here. 105. So we gained 30,000 fans. And 121,000. See, we're getting our money back real quick here. JC blindsided Ivy. Yeah, she did. All right, nothing special here. Let's see what Raw did. A 107, 
and they got 30. Like, seriously, how am I not keeping up with them? But I got the money right now. That's the thing. Bailey and I let on work well together. Well, that's not surprising if they won the titles. 116. Still got no money, though, but that's okay. In ECW, 114. They got 50,000 fans this week. And 280,000. All right, let's see here. So we're going to steal some fans one week here. Cannot be used in week 25. We are definitely using that on a PLE. You're into power car, but complete a seasonal challenge. Big, but oh, we got money. We got enough money in the bank. So, so we got a two that only usable with star. That's for six. There'll be 15 popular at the next match. All right. So we are in first place still. We are 54,000 fans behind Raw, but we are $100,000 up on budget, which we are going to use a little bit of that to uh, uh, pick up a few enhancement talents next week because we I think we're going to have to. And the other two, well, 4265 Bishop's catching up a little bit. But he just hasn't got that third Hall of Fame trophy to prove it. And ECW, well, we almost got him up by 100,000, so. But as per tradition and the fact that the game won't save at this point, uh, we're going to check out what's going to be happening next week here. So let's see what facts come up. Thank you! You pulled your veto champ card already. He did it already. I don't need her there for what I'm about to do here, so. <laughs> Where is it here? I just looked at something here. <laughs> he's laughing. He's having a good time. Good for you. Yeah, laugh it up. Enjoy your night. <laughs> um, Uh-oh. I just realized that's a power card. That's not his power card. His power card is when he bans three champions. So he's just blocking one here. That's okay. We're still going to be able to use this, and we're still not going to be stupid yet. Because I think he might be trying to... Uh, Sucker us into something here, but that's okay. The wow. Hey, listen, since come up, all special matches will cost double this week. I'm told some kind of union thing. Whatever, I'll just use regular matches. That's fine. Ivy now taking part in the show this week. Sorry, but that's fine. Oh, yeah, he's going to be throwing all cards now. Thanks, Heyman. Uh-oh, Cora's got a problem. I had a costume malfunction during practice today, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to go on tonight unless we fix it ASAP. Wardrobe malfunction. So what can we do here? Do we pay the 20K to keep her in here? Rookie move not having two sets of gear. Completely agreed. I think we can afford the 20000 to uh, get her gear fixed. We just need to make sure we get her in a match today. Make money on OnlyFans?
I think we'll pay the 20,000 to get her. Just get her morale even higher here. All right, so rest your primary solo champions this week. Well, I don't have a men's champ, and the women's champ hey, pulled the card on me. So what card are we getting for free here, Trips? A hell spot three! <laughs> oh my goodness. We're just smoothly riding into this one. This is turning out great. All right, uh, and then what do we get going here? We got to upgrade Baszler when we come back here. And Nikita. We got two upgrades to do when we get back next week. We got things going here. And we do have enough spots that we're able to... I want to love Heyman's reaction. Well, I want to live... I want the live Haven reaction. Oh, that would be fantastic. All right, so we could do all three of these, but like I said, we are going to, uh, I'm saving my money for this one first. Stadium to me is more important than those other ones because once we get the stadium, we will get the money. And once we get the money, we can get the other stuff real quick. But, uh, that's what we're going to be doing here on uh, week two. So we bring back to a chat screen here. Uh, for those on Twitch, hang on. We're going to start up season. We're going to start up week two here in a, just a couple minutes. Uh, for those that are uh, free, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you give us a like or, and then uh, hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost you a dime. And you get to know what's going on and hit the bell notification to find out whenever we drop items which are 10 a.m eastern but we we drop the odd one that'll be new sometimes so but with that being said everybody thank you for stopping by here and always remember be part of the solution don't be part of the problem and we'll see y'all here next time on the backbreaker gaming youtube channel take care everybody